two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Coming up live soon. Hello, good evening and welcome. Everyone out there on YouTube can see and hear us. We're finally live. It's Wednesday, it's seven o'clock, and it's time to meet another business hero this week. Uh, can you all hear me? Have we got a sound? Uh, for some reason, I couldn't hear the audio of the music that was playing on YouTube. Um, so I seem to have famously messed that one up again. <laughs> Um, hopefully we can hear, I'm just going to run a quick, I just want to see if we can actually be heard, just to make sure that the audio is coming out. Yep, the audio is coming out nice and clear. Good stuff. Um, so this evening, folks, we are talking about movement, exercise, stretching, and who, what, where, when, why, and how. And joining me, I have the ultimate pleasure of welcoming back Richard Turner. Good evening, Richard. How are you? Hold on. There we go. Say that again. Good evening. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. Um, I've just sorry, I had your microphone on mute. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Probably a good thing, actually. <laughs> Look like a badly dubbed uh, ninja movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So welcome back, Richard Turner. Uh, give him, give him a round of applause, folks. What a business hero we've so got kind. right there. So kind. Two shows in one month. That takes some doing. Um, yeah. So this evening, Rich, I th we are going to be talking about, if this thing would work properly, we're going to be talking about the who, what, where, when, and why of movement and exercise, and as you so eloquently put it, the love-hate relationship that goes with it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that because I speak to so many people which um, hate it. I hate the thought of it. I love the, the feeling afterwards of achieving something in what uh, exercise does do for you. Indeed. Um, I think there's also um, a, a relationship between loving the idea of doing some exercise, but I hate doing it. <laughs> yeah. Some I'm, point, I'm yeah. Very yeah, I'm very much in that camp. Love the thought. <laughs> I love the idea of having, you know, I see people doing things like cycling and skiing. You think, well, oh, I'd like to do that. It's fun. But no, actually going and doing it, so they no, always, not today. They always have a big <laughs> smile on their face, don't they? It's deceiving. Indeed, 
indeed. It's like, nope, that's too much effort. Not today. <laughs> um, so why don't we get straight straight in, um, and I'll try and cut out all of the nonsense that I normally oh. throw in. Because um, I swear to God, I'm putting people off. Uh, and um, you did fine, mate. Need a bit of humour. I know, right? Um, so I'll, I'll let you crack on with the. If we start with the, the why, what, who, and when of physical activity. What okay. can you tell us about that? So the why, um, I think um, I actually I got the definition of why uh, of what physical activity physical activity is, and it's classed as skeletal movement, um, which creates energy expenditure. Um, and I think it's important that we do that to create strength in both uh, muscles, bones, uh, the skeleton, uh, but, and also our organs, so our lungs, our heart, our brain. Um, and due to that and because of that, it's important. Cool. Um, um, so I'll carry on with, with the what and why unless you want to kind of jump in. No, no. So, the, so the, the, the what is basically, you know, just get up off your ass and make sure every joint in you get it all moving so it doesn't yeah basically um and it could be in any 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 um kind of area of exercise it can be weight training it can be uh running cycling playing sports stretching yoga um anything which kind of creates an energy expenditure is classed as exercise so when you feel like your heart rate comes out of a, a level and you are sweating or you are breathing heavily then that's kind of a class of exercise. Um, so mm. you can make it as fun um, to you, or you can make it as boring as you like, but it's still class of exercise. So, so this is that's not exercise then. Unfortunately, not. I, sh- I mean, uh, <laughs> in, possibly if you class stretching as exercise, I class stretching as, stretching as a separate entity. You take all the fun out of it. I thought that was easy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be on over in a second. Yeah, you're meant to say, no, that's good exercise, Rich. Do that twice a day. <laughs> um, all right, so what about the why? The why? Oh, we just did the why. Yeah. It's the why. Oh, did you? Yeah, we did the why. Uh, I should listen more, shouldn't I? The who? I go to who. I think the who is yeah. similar to kind of the rest of this. Everybody, I suppose, um, in one way or another. Uh, and if whether you have uh, a young child and they're just being active and they're learning... Uh, movement so they're learning their coordination their balance they're learning um how to get stronger and move better um or and then you kind of progress up into your adult life um, and for a lot of people when they do do exercises either to, to perform really well with sports or activity or it's mm. to, to look good naked um, or be healthy <laughs> good um, point <laughs> normally it's where most people start doing the exercise the it's the self-conscious element of it um and normally, down, especially nowadays, down to social media. So people will pick yeah. up exercise to look better. Yep. They want to beat the um, body, huh? Exactly. And as you get older, once you you still kind of want to look good, um, but then you, you you respect the element of health. Um, and I think that comes into it, especially if mm. you are maybe in an overweight category and you're looking to, to, to stay out of a diabetic stage or trying to improve your health. That's when you look at exercise as well. Um, and as you get older, you're... What are you I didn't, I didn't name names, I didn't, I didn't point fingers. Um, and then I think as you, as you get older, then it's oh, just going to be able to move. Well. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm just, I'm just stating the facts. He's very subtle, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, though, kids uh, yeah. don't really need to do the exercise because they're made of rubber, right? Yeah, I mean, they don't probably don't need to do stretching, but they need to, to, to learn other sections of physical activity, right? Like a coordination, mm-hmm. catching running around, playing team sports, running how to yeah. evade and all that kind of stuff is kind of key elements of physical activity um, mm. and to improve their cardiovascular strength and kind of yeah. fight obesity and the obesity rates are increasing in, in children. So Yeah. The children are like puppies, right? They're just made out of rubber and, and skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Just, yeah. Not much I mean, bone going on. Kids, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've seen x-rays of puppies and, and you know, when, when kids are born, they're all all fatty and, and floppy. Uh, there's, there's no there's no skeletal system going on there at all, is there? <laughs> I mean, uh, that's I think that's that, that's pre-pregnancy. But... Okay, someone said you know, <laughs> same they, thing. Right? They, fall, they fall over, they just bounce, right? <laughs> <laughs> and cry. At least, my, 
Yeah, well, my puppy did when he was when he was this big. <laughs> um, and um, okay, so what about the when? When of physical? Because this is a tough I one, think, right? Yeah, it's a tough one. I think when is uh, very unique to the person we're talking about or talking to about um, being motivated. I guess uh, I wouldn't say there's any particular time you should do exercise. It's just a time where you can fit that in, or when you're most motivated. Um, mm. For a lot of people, at the moment during the situation of what we're in. And mm. I'm not going to say the C word, um, but uh, complete boredom. <laughs> complete boredom. Um, I think it's important that if you're struggling to get it done in the afternoon, then maybe look in the morning. Um, mm. And I always, I'm, I know I was the same when I was working, uh, when I was working more, or when I'm working now still. The later it gets, the less chance I'm going to do it because by that point yeah. I put myself out of it. The harder, it, the harder it seems in my head to go and do that, the, the exercises seem harder and heavier. So the earlier you can kind of get it done um, within your routine, then the better because you've got less time to talk yourself out. Would you say that daylight's a great motivator? I think the sunshine is a great motivator. Mm. So like when it gets dark, daylight. regardless of summer or winter, as soon as it gets dark, yeah. people just go, oh, I'm not going out now, it's night time. Yeah. And I think, yeah, and also the cold and cold as well. And I don't know whether that is the dark thing when people get up, some people get up at six o'clock and train really well. Mm. But you see them people which do that during the summer, but then during the winter they kind of maybe slack off a little bit. And whether that's just because the social side's got a bit better because people are out drinking a bit more, or whether that's because mm. it's colder and darker. Could yeah, I think that. the rain and the temperature's probably got something to do with it as well. Yeah, understand. Uh, I know when I used to go cycling, it was it was you know in the summer it was great. Six o'clock in the evening, you had no qualms about hopping on your bike and off you go for two three hours. Yeah, uh, but in the, in the winter time, four o'clock comes around, you're like. Where'd it go? Uh, Day's gone. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mean, my opportunity. It's, yeah, it's cold and raining by six o'clock. You're like, nope, not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I was speaking to um, actually, I was speaking to somebody today um, regarding just being a bit more motivated and trying to kind of maybe create a couple of ways which you can be a bit more motivated to get yourself out there, whatever time of the day it was. And I suggested um, at some point in the morning when you wake up after you've had a shower, after you finish your teeth, go for a walk, and then then have a really nice breakfast. A healthy, nice breakfast. Um, oh, so I, eat after I, you've exercised. Yeah, I would. If you're going for, I mean, I walk. I'm, I mean, I walk for me. So I'm talking about 15, 20 minute walk out in the oh, fresh okay. air. Oh. Then come back, have something healthy, gotcha. make some, some avocado or something like that. Um, mm. Because you've started the day really well, you, you're hopefully being more motivated and proactive to go and do something healthy for the day. Hmm. Sounds logical. Um, so I hadn't actually, I hadn't even considered that, you know, going for a walk only had to be 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, it, 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 for me, that's not, I'm not looking at it as a, a form of exercise. I'm looking at it as a, a good way to start the day. Get out there, get some fresh air in, have your some of the less uh, well-needed you time to mm. relax and prepare yourself for the day. Um, it gets the heart rate up a little bit, gets you some vitamin D, especially at the moment, and then have a nice healthy meal. And then hopefully from there, you hopefully you might be a bit more productive and then do your exercise session either at 10 o'clock or lunchtime or a bit oh, later yeah. on. So hopefully you'll be a little bit more motivated to do something a bit harder then. Hmm. Happy days. I think, yeah, because at the moment in, this, in you know, the current times, um, I think it is when you're restricted to one bout of exercise per day, I think you do tend to start to get into this habit of looking at it as, well, if I'm only allowed to go out once a day to get some exercise, I'm going to go out for, a, for quite a while. As opposed yeah. to sort of small, regular bouts of exercise, as it were. Yeah. I've fallen into that habit as well, where going out for a walk now, is it's got to be an hour or two, you know. Uh, yeah. A big one. Right, actually, it could, it could be yeah, one in the morning, one in one later on. Mm, indeed. Um, cool. Um, so what about um, if we move on to um, implementing breaks? What in in exercise at work? Okay, so about exercise at work, right? Yeah, yeah. Apologies if I get the um, the summarising of it wrong. His voice box is broken. He's going to claim that it's his headset, but he's actually. Can you hear me? Yeah, well, there we go. We can hear. Is your headset on, Duff? Hello. Yep, we can hear you. Hello? Yep, we can hear you. Can? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
It sounds different, like the microphone on your laptop's picking it up instead of your headphones. But it's fine. Carry on. Having a bit of a technical challenge now. It's a nice change that it's not me that's messed something up. That's very rare. Can you hear me? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay, I can't hear you. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, we're on my computer there. Oh, um, uh, yeah, do about it's not using a Mac breaks and stuff during exercise. <laughs> Um, so during work, I think it's important because um, it's very easy, and I and I do this myself, just to, to stand here and work for hours and hours and end. But actually, I get nothing really productive on the on the screen, um, and mm. it's a lot of uh, spelling mistakes or whatever it is. So trying to set yourself a break, whether that's putting a timer on, or um, I find actually standing up helps because then I don't I'm not sat. I can actually just move around a lot more freely, um, and that kind of helps me stay a bit more motivated. Cool. Uh, can you hear me at all? I take that as a, when he says what, <laughs> I take that as a no. <laughs> it's, I'm just sending him a message so he can actually see what I'm saying, because he obviously can't hear me. Uh, so now's a good time to call him all the horrible names under the sun. <laughs> uh, can you hear me? It sounds like sounds like your laptop. Mike. Can you hear me? Yep, can hear you. Yeah, so I've just sent you a message so you can see. Uh, it sounds like your laptop is being used at the moment, the microphone on your laptop. But um, I don't know why I'm talking to him because he can't hear me. Um, but um, yeah, so one of the things we were going to talk about is why it's important to implement breaks for exercise at work. Um, and this is something that is, you know, it's Richard's speciality. Um, Unlike IT, it would seem. <laughs> he's not laughing because he still can't hear me. This is where we need some of that elevator music that they play in McDonald's. <laughs> he's like, oh no, headset's not working. Is headset still on? Is headset still on? There we go. Let's ask some simple questions. So we could go from running a show about PT to diagnosing headset audio. Uh, this could be an interesting show. Is that better? Rapid. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I can't hear you still. Okay. I can't hear you. Apologies for this, folks. Things happen. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Say something then. <laughs> speak, man, speak. <laughs> You're trying to tell him to say something and speak, and he can't. He can't hear. <laughs> uh, the joys and wonders of going live, eh? Right now, he's muted himself. Hold on, unmute. There you go. Hello. Yes, now I can hear you. I'm shouting at them. I'm shouting at the screen going, unmute yourself. <laughs> we can hear you. Just carry on. Can you hear me? Yes, we okay. can hear I'll you. Just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Um, I can't remember where I was at. I don't know why this isn't working. So, um, yeah, so I think it's quite important that we do get up and try to stretch out, move out, um, because if we stay in position for too long, then we are not going to be, um, we're going to get stiff. We're going to get uh, more, more tightnesses in our body. And because of that, we will, um, seize up, get injuries. Uh, and from that probably take time for work and be in pain and that kind of things. We're just not wanting. Alrighty. Um, cool. And um, what, when you, when you're at work all day, uh, actually, I can't even ask you a question, can I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, we're going to try and sort this audio out. So it, it, it really, really would be beneficial if we could actually get this working. Because I can't even ask him a question. Uh, all right. Speakers. Set.
Just asking him if his speakers are set to his laptop or his headset. It would appear that his headset might have either run out of juice or switched itself off. And for whatever reason, his laptop microphone has taken over, but he hasn't told the laptop to play the audio through the speakers. It could just be that his audio is still trying to come out through the headset, which is probably now either flat or not connected. And uh, it's just one of the wonders of trying to, one of the wonderful things about trying to run a live show is all the wonderful things that can go wrong in the meantime. Um, yep. What? I can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. <laughs> he looks happy, yeah. doesn't he? He looks happy. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm looking, for some reason my iTunes popped up on my MacBook and then just cut me out of everything else. So I had to cancel that and then kind of go back into everything. You know what I was saying, folks, is he using a Mac? <laughs> <laughs> so I've missed all of that. You probably just ripped me ripped straight I, I into did me. I'm say, sorry. I did say that now's a good time for everyone to say all the horrible mean things about you that they've been wanting to say for ages. I didn't want you to hear to your face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so we've got him back in the room. Happy days. Um, yeah, see how long for, shall we? Yeah, let's see how long this one lasts. So we were talking about um, implementing breaks for exercise at work um, yep. and why it's important. Um, what sort of, um, uh, in all that disruptive audio mess up there, um, I may have forgotten what you said. Okay. Um, so I think it's important that we are looking to um, implement time during the, the working day, especially whilst we're at the desk, and especially if you sit down all day to get up and move. Um, and this is why I think uh, standing desks are quite good. Um, I, I, I will stand for the majority of the day if I'm working at my computer, just because um, it takes away from some of that tightness in my hips. Um, not only does this take away from the, the tightness in your hips that you can kind of build up. Um, for me, my desk isn't high enough, so I'm probably uh, slouching a bit. Um, but also, whilst you're standing, you're more likely to fidget, you're likely to move around. Um, which is firstly going to create uh, um, a calorie burn, so you're going to carry on moving and, and burn calories. Um, mm. Also allows you to start, I feel like you're actually going to move around a lot more rather than being a lot more stationary. You might feel like you want to stretch a bit more. You might want to kind of move up and down on your feet so you're not just station, uh, stationary in one position where if you're on a nice comfortable chair, as I know you've got, it's easy just to sit there and just relax and just slouch and just be there and feel comfortable. Yeah, they do make it a bit too easy to not move around very much. Yeah, as you can see, I'm very different. I I don't like. I've got a horrible chair, so it's probably quite. Are good you sitting on a one-legged chair or something? <laughs> yeah, I've got. How about this? Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, there's no so slouch in really, that, eh? No, I'll keep my core nice and tight for that. Yeah, like a like a dentist stool or something. Yeah. Um, or or do you ever do you ever find yourself sitting on one of those exercise balls? What do they call those things? The big, the big moon ball. Yeah, stability ball. I haven't got one. If I had one, I would probably insist on it more. Yeah, because then you could be sitting there doing this for twenty minutes, <laughs> just yeah. dancing up and down. I, mean, I think I probably would do. I think I'd probably do more of that than natural work. So <laughs> it's probably a good thing I don't have that. Yeah, we'll have people complaining. Go, can he sit still for five minutes? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I'm not doing a very good job at the moment either. They're good for people who fidget a lot, I'd imagine. Yeah, I think, and also fidgeting's good. And normally you fidget when you're eating more calories, I guess. Mm. You know, when you've got more energy in you, you'll fidget more, and it's part of the reason why. Um, one part of the way you can also lose weight by fidgeting. Mm. So fidgeting is good for losing weight, right? You heard it here yep. first, folks. It's official. Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a form of uh, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Yeah. So when you're sitting there going dum dum dum, tapping away on your desk and and crushing uh, bot uh, water bottles and stuff, you know, you're exercising. <laughs> good. So if anyone if anyone's getting annoyed by you tapping on the desk or crushing that water bottle, just tell them to shut up. It's exercise. <laughs> and I, I never said it was exercise. I said it was fidgeting. <laughs> it's, it's still it's still good for you, though, right? Yeah, you're yeah. exercising your hands and and, yeah. and, uh, and normally there's a stress reason behind it as well. So it can, I think it helps stimulate the brain a little bit. Yeah, it's a slightly noisier way to do it. You know, if you're crushing a water oh, bottle, it's gonna. Yeah. Have you seen them like cube things where you can play like on? Different things so you can play with, like a, a joystick, or you can scroll through some. Yeah, like, a the lock fidget. Thing. They're, they're like cool. a fidget things. I don't know what yeah. they're called, but the they've cube, got fidget, fidget cube, I think. Different buttons and switches yeah. and stuff. I really want one of those things, man. Yeah, I want one as well, actually. <laughs> but I would never put it down. That's the problem. No. I'd have to start typing using my computer one hand. 
<laughs> or you, I'll just put your computer on the scroller. I'm telling you, I'd, I'd, I'd have one side, I'd have to have a keyboard on it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd I'd be dreadful. Um, but um, so if that's, if that's why it's important to implement breaks for exercise at work, um, what, what about why, why is it dangerous? Um, why is sitting in front of a computer causing people issues? Um, it's causing people issues because they're sat in the same position for a long time. Um, and it's, it's, so imagine you got, so your muscle, you're the, in the, the start of a muscle. Imagine it's like an elastic band. If you shorten mm. the elastic band and hold that elastic band there for a long time, it becomes used to that position. So when you stand right. up, when you stand up, you're then stretching that out. And that's when the, the likelihood of that being snapped is probably uh, higher. So imagine if you had like an elastic band and when you first, the day first day you got it, it was um, loose and you could flex mm -hmm. it and you can move it. And because you were moving all the time, it was easy to move, easy movable. As you sat down and go into position, um, that gets more rigid, but also probably brings, comes in a little bit, becomes a bit shorter and a little bit less mm -hmm. flexible. And then because you're in that position, um, it's then muscles and then fibers are, are more likely to, to, to tear or create injuries. Hmm. They always tear loosely because uh, you have to be able to, uh, to tear something you're normally doing to make it at a higher, higher speed. Hmm. So would, would, it, would it be fair to say that your muscles tend to sort of relax and sort of settle into a position that you probably don't want them in the long term? Yeah, 100%. Like we don't, we're, not, we're not really made for sitting. Um, I think I said this the last time I was on. We're yeah, made why, have, why have we been given a big fat ass to sit on then? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, think, I, think, I think that ass is more for, uh, for running and walking than it is for sitting. Okay. I thought you were going to say, speak for yourself there. But. <laughs> oh, I've got a big fat ass at the moment, no worries. <laughs> he's um, like, no, 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 it's only you who's got a fat ass, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah. Mine's, I did, I did, I, yeah, mine's definitely oh. designed for sitting. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it, it wasn't originally, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> it's my turn yeah, to get roasted see, now. <laughs> yeah, I think for, you'll, you'll see a lot of people which have which do sit down a lot, will have bad back issues. Mm. Um, because our hips, our hips play a vital role in uh, well, the shape of how our spine works and the muscles mm. around our spine. Um, because we sit, that pulls our hips into a position which is not comfortable. Um, mm. And as we stand up, then we pull our, because our muscle gets tighter, our hips get pulled over and that, pull, that puts a lot of stress into our spine and into our, uh, our, back, our muscles in our back. Mm. And from my own knowledge of... Um back muscles and the lack of using them um, a, an awful lot of sitting I have to be careful how I say that sitting <laughs> um, <laughs> depends what you've had to eat the night before uh, <laughs> if you sit a lot um, the muscles in your back they don't get used do they they just they no. just all just sort of down on top of each other and yeah. you end up sitting like that for ages and you end up, like when you're slouching yeah. Um, you think about to... the... yeah. Sorry, go on. So your spine is kind of like an S shape. So, um, and so when you sit, you take your spine out of that S shape and create a C shape. So not only are you compacting the spine because you're sitting and you're in that position for a while, you're, you're compacting that spine in a position where it's not created like there's no bend. The C work, the S works because it can bend and flex. Whereas mm. when you create a C shape, it just flex one way. It doesn't flex the opposite way to work in like when collaboration. You're yeah, so when you're slouching, you're creating shoulders and you're creating that the C from the top, but also you're creating that C from the bottom. So it, normally you'd be mm. upright and you're creating the, that bend in your lower back, which is meant to be there. Um, mm. but when you sit, you slouch, you don't have that. So you're not only are you collapsing the way through your, through your spine, you're, um, you're, you're, you're losing that strength in your core. Um, mm. So part of, the, part of the reason when we uh, assess people which sit all day, which have bad backs, it's normally not only assessment of flexibility and mobility within the hips, it's also recognizing if they've got a weak core or not. Hmm. Indeed. Um, that's one of the things that I've had myself. Um, you know, 20 years of sitting in front of a desk and it does destroy your back. It really does. Um, the, you know, your muscles get weak and then when you actually try and do something that requires a bit of effort, there's no muscle there to, to deal with it. So your spine yeah. tries to take over and you end up damaging your spine. Yeah, because um, yeah. your spine ends up trying to do the work that the muscles are intended to do. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I can't say much. I had, I had more 
last year setting up the, the the corporate work company. I had more time sitting working on the computer, and now because mm. of that, my I have issues in my back, um, which I've had issues before, but now these are more prolonged and they're, they're here for longer. Hmm. Bummer. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna suck because it's very it makes you know it, if you screw up your spine, it is life changing, isn't it? Because it's yeah, the spine, the spine mine, is for life, yeah. not just for one exercise. Yeah. Yeah, mine's, uh, mine's de- I feel like the mine's definitely more muscular, so it's definitely fixable. But at the same time, it's uh, yeah. still uncomfortable. If you're mus, if you're mus, if it's muscular, you're lucky because, like you say, you can work your way out of it. Yeah, massage. Yeah. You can get treatment. You can look after. It, you build strength. You can loosen it off. Mm. Happy days. But yeah, if you bust one of the discs or, or God forbid, um, any of the crunchy bits, um, then you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely up a little while. You can fix it and you can get better, but you are up mm. a little while. Yeah, it's easy to turn your back into um, a Kit Kat, you know? Just ping, broken. <laughs> and you just end up I with one of like Kit Kat fingers all up your back, just <laughs> yeah. breaking one after the other. Yeah. Um, like a picnic with all the spine and the coming out. Yeah, I mean, what other issues can it cause for, for people to sit in front of, uh, if they're sitting on their backside all day? Other issues are you're going to get around your shoulders and... Um, to kyphosis, um, because kyphosis Ooh. is the shape. Kyphosis is the shape of when you round the top half, so you can see the the, the relaxed position here. Right, gotcha. And then as you pull your head up forwards to be in this position, this causes tension through through your levator spinae, which is the one of the muscles lifting your neck up, keeping your head in position. Oh. That causes oh, that causes into your neck, into your head, into your spine. Sorry, into your uh, uh, what's that? Cranium, skull. You hear what I wanted. Your yeah, that's your skull, um, and that will mm. cause a lot of tension, headaches. Um, so if you ever get headaches at work, mm. it could be from tight necks, tight shoulders. So slouching um, so can literally put enough strain on your neck into your head to the point where it causes you headaches. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, I get. <laughs> I've had uh, tight shoulder headaches before, and they're not comfortable. You don't know where they're coming mm. from unless you actually understand the body. Yeah, yeah, and it's just the sort of thing they associate with things like tension headaches. Yeah. Yeah, where there's no actual cause other than just the way that you're sitting. Uh, yeah, yeah, tightness in the muscles. Um, mm. And the best thing for it, drink some water and have a massage. Yeah, get the hell up off your ass and move around. Yeah, I mean, long <laughs> term. Sit properly. Long, long, yeah, long term, don't be here. Be mm. here to get the strength. But for, for mm. the, instant, the instant help, a massage is normally pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I remember once when I went for a session at Virgin uh, Active, and they give you one of these free sessions with a, a PT down there. Nice, nice chap. And the first thing he said to me, he said, you sit a lot, don't you? I was like, uh, okay, you're not a stalker, but go on. <laughs> he said, no, I can tell by your shoulders, because just naturally standing up straight, the shoulders were forward and, and down. Yeah. And he, he said, that's, that's how people, he said, as, as opposed to the shoulders being back and up. He said, so it does lead to a, like, almost like a permanent change in your posture, no matter whether you're yeah. sitting or standing later. Yeah. And, uh, it, and, so it's not, and it's not very, it's not very easy to change. I've had people with it, mm. um, and I've had to work really hard on their mobility. Um, mm. Unless, and, and unless you have that willpower to stay with that and actually respect the fact you need to commit twenty mm. minutes, thirty minutes a day to fix that, you're not going to yeah. come out of that. No, so that long term sitting, working can really screw you up as you get older. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, even now, I put, try and put my armrests as far back as they go, so they. It encourages me not to put my elbows too far forward. Yeah, um, it's a nice little tip. But, yeah, but um, or you know, if you if your arms of your chair don't move, just cut the front half off completely, <laughs> so yeah. that your elbows have to stay further back, and it will actually yeah. um, will actually help you keep your shoulders back a little bit better, better posture. And, um, yeah, but um, you can also buy things? you can also put a towel in behind your back. So if you put a towel round, well, uh, roll a towel up. A bit of towel in your chair that mm. helps pull your chest up, sit you yeah, in that yeah. position rather than allowing you to slouch. Yeah, just wrap a bungee lead around it so it stays on your chair. Yeah, Happy days. Um, have you seen those things you can, on Tully, Rich, where you, they're like a, it's like a bra without the cups? <laughs> I have seen those. Yeah, <laughs> I have seen those things where they, the, 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 and they always use a woman to, to demonstrate these things, don't they? Because uh, <laughs> you know, they say sex sells, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's no coincidence that she's wearing a very skimpy bra and you see her just pulls it and she pulls these straps and you go Whoa. and of course yeah. every man at home is watching that going yeah I need one of those 
I have, I have uh, seen those, um, and I've never used one, so I wouldn't know you how. Have used one? I don't think I have. Hmm. I would like. I'd like to. Meet no, you wouldn't, would you? Everyone's everyone's under your leadership, and they're all sitting straight and properly. Yeah, but in my views, before they come to see me, um, my issue with them is if you think you put something here where you want to fight that position, you might. Rather than go with them, pull yourself back into position, you might fight mm. against it and leave muscle ah. muscle tighter. Ah, so you could cause yourself a bit of an injury. In my head, that's how it works. Um, but I might, mm. be, I might be wrong because I've never tried one on. I don't know whether you can, yeah, yeah. if you do sit with it or whether you do fight it. Yeah, yeah, just go and grab one of your wife's bras and just cut the cups out and try it. <laughs> and you get one, you get a wife. Sure wife, I'm not sure it's that simple though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just ask the neighbour. Can I borrow it? They're not going to think you're weird at all. No, not at all. <laughs> um, so now we know what we need to do, why we need to do it, and what happens if we don't do it. Um, what about physical exercise whilst you're at home? Because it's all well and good to see people saying, "Oh yeah, all this exercise and going outside on a sunny day and trying to trying to stay motivated when it's cold and raining outside." And you know, at the moment the gyms aren't open. Um, so what about physical exercise whilst at home? Um, I think that yeah. is very, I think that is very uh, specific for the person you're talking to, because it might depend on what equipment they have, um, mm. and, and if you haven't, there's a few different ways. And as I said earlier, and I, re, and I will refer back to what I said, exercise mm. is a way of um, move, getting the, the skeletal muscles moving to create the energy expenditure. Mm. So if you keep that in mind, whatever exercises you do and you get your heart rate up, and you feel like you're struggling, and you feel like your muscles are working, then you're having a workout. Um, mm. And if whilst you're at home, all you can do is watch uh, Joe Wicks or um, somebody else uh, on social media, or if you go onto my social media page, I've put some workouts up. People it do. Sounds like a character from EastEnders. <laughs> Which one? My one? No, Joe Wicks. Joe Wicks. <laughs> he's from Essex, so he's not far from... Oh, he might, might, might well, well be, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He actually, I don't think he is, but... Um, East Enders will, workout. Yeah. What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. those kind of things. So he's, I think he's, at the moment he's doing um, PE with PE for kids as such on TV. Okay. So oh, cool. It's quite a good. It's quite a good thing he's doing. Um, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. It, sort of thing I might yeah. be able to keep up with. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a bit early for you, mate. I know. I know what time you get up. Well, PE for kids, mate. I think I'll be struggling with that one. The kids <laughs> will leave me for dust. Because, <laughs> uh, like I say, you know, they're all made of rubber and sponges, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So there is it. I mean, there are people out there doing stuff, and there's tons of different mm. kind of exercises. Um, mm. And at the end of this, I have got my five exercises I would recommend, and you can create a workout in different ways with that. Um, awesome. And I and I will kind of go through a couple of ways you can. Fantastic. Um, you're not, not going to torture us, though, right? I know some of them aren't easy. <laughs> If it was easy, we'd all be doing it, right? I mean, I love that. That is one of my favourite slogans. Yeah. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Yeah, um, exactly. Awesome. Um, so, I mean, I've, like I said, when you say what's available to you, I mean, I've, I've caught my wife before doing exercises in the kitchen with heavy cans out of the cupboard. Yeah, um, so you can, find, you can find things. You can find milk bottles. You can fill them up with water. You can find hmm. any, anything you can use. Um, to hold for squatting or to hold for do some leg exercises or some shoulder pressing. So there is ways of doing it. Mm. Um, and you have the ability to do stuff. Um, but it's I'm definitely just, not I'm just waiting for her to get the one, the, the big bag of flour. And when she does this, <laughs> I'm going to come up behind her with a knife and just cut the flour bag. <laughs> it goes all right. <laughs> yeah. um, you'll come, you'll come to the divorce ceremony, won't you? <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'm saying I'll come to a funeral, more like. Well, yeah, that's what it will be. If, I do <laughs> if she's working out with two bags of sugar and I come in and open them while she's doing it. Oh, good Lord, that'll be a game over, mate. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I do I'll think be looking for a new home. I do, I, do, I do think it's definitely just about doing something um, yeah. and it's, it's creating stimulus um, and whatever that stimulus is in any way or shape or form. And if it's just yeah. doing exercise, as you said, um, I know you're not a fan of doing good traditional exercise, so going out for a walk at a fast pace and then pushing yourself to be better each time. Mm. That's exercise. That's, yeah. that's creating your heart, heart rate to increase. You're going to make an improvement mm. in your lung capacity. You're going to fight or burn calories and you're going to fight some of that, um, some of the negative. Obesity. <laughs> Obesity is one of them. Fight 
fight some of that. Recently, if that's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a reason why the camera's at that, that exact height. <laughs> That's not an accident. Yeah. We have like a method. Person, like, like, I can't. Fat man. <laughs> we have a method person, uh, I can't come in. Yeah, yeah. If you're like, look, look, you should be in the OBC. Look at the fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you know, when I, when I go out and I get some exercise, it, it, it is a case of, okay, this is really boring. Um, so what can we do to try and liven it up and, it is just a case of, I find as well, without music, it's even, music probably adds a completely dif- different dimension to exercise that changes it completely, I'd say. Uh, yeah, uh, and you and you get different kind of exercises for really different types, sorry, different types of music for different types of exercise. Mm. Down for a walk, if you want to walk quickly, you're looking, you're, the, the beat per minute will, will increase if you're, mm. if you're looking if you see a lot of power lifters and the guys lifting from heavy weights, if you see them, they're listening a lot of the time into a lot of heavy metal. I can just imagine what's going on in their head as they're trying to lift up sort of 20 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> Some death thrash metal guys screaming in their ears. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> I can just imagine that being horrible. <laughs> not really, not really listening to Mozart, are they? <laughs> no. 20 kilos is a macho. It's not even a warm up for them big boys. <laughs> no, exactly. Um, that's actually put a good, a good little picture in my head. Actually, you know, next time I go to the gym and I see someone lifting heavy, heavy weights, I shall picture them English. listening to "Dance of the Fair Loser. Sugar Plums" or something. <laughs> 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 uh, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, when I go for a walk, it's it's good to put on some running music. Yeah, that pace really does make your walk turn into like my wife said the other day, an almost run. I took yeah. her with me and I said, right, you ready? And she said, well, we're only going for a walk. I said, no, we're going to go for a walk, walk. Yeah. Like, like uh, what's his name? You know, we're not going for a walk. We're going for a walk, walk. Yeah, yeah. We're going yeah, out. Again. Yeah, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. We're not just exercising, we're exercising. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, we. by the time we got back, we were aching, mate. Yeah. And, you know, everything was aching by the time we got back. It was, uh, I think the first kilometre, she said, oh, my God, we're almost running. <laughs> Yeah, um, and it got down to a point where you know each kilometre comes down in time, and you yeah. get a little little beep on your on your watch saying, "Oh, that one was better." I'll keep going. Yeah, um, so you push yourself a bit harder. Yeah, yeah, and um, without the music, and I f- I find as well when you get those quiet gaps in the music, you lose your step and lose your footing. Yeah, and then the beat so picks up it. again, and, yeah. and then you're off. Yeah, uh, and but, yeah, music, the music as well. It motivates you to keep going at that pace as well. So you're kind of yeah, yes, yeah, you're, you're keeping up with the rhythm. The music. Right? And also, this is going at you. So, telling you you're being caught up. So, you're compet- competing with yourself. And because you're doing that, you're feeling good as well. Yeah, yeah. So, the music's 110 beats a minute, and your heart's doing 250 beats a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a win lose. <laughs> 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 at, least, at least your watch knows where you are when you're killed over, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, you put 999 on your watch. <laughs> no, I don't think he's got that. Or if it, it might, uh-huh. I don't know how to use it. Um, but um, moving on, obviously, we don't want to keep everyone here all night. Um, what sort of physical exercises uh, do you want to do those on on in, in a moment or, or uh, yeah I mean I can go through I can go through kind of because um, we've got uh, exercises. five exercises to do every day whilst at work yeah I've got uh, ten actually I've added five Ooh. to give you five exercises to do whilst at home oh. and five exercises to do whilst you're at work huh. you mean the so five you can, both? can do at work so you won't look silly in front of your workmates yes Ones which are more desk based for kind of stretching and moving. The other ones are more um, actual exercise, I guess. Yeah, you pair up with someone at work and you lift your desk a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's a free weight, right? I mean, yeah, I understand. <laughs> it's, it's a bit awkward, my one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure they'd possibly be too happy about all the furniture no. being lifted up 300 times a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but all right, let's go for it. Um, let's, let's, let's take a look at what these exercises are. Okay, and see what, I'm going to move around so a little bit. Check out all the different ways we can injure ourselves. Exactly. I'm hoping they, sh- they shouldn't be too bad. They're all body weight. Um, and they all have different focuses. Body weight for me page. means absolute torture. And then do that. And hopefully yeah, that works. Yeah, oh. the, the powers of, of live webcams. There you go. Look at that. Move the hockey stick. Did your na- that neighbour you were telling me about, the one you don't like, did he come around earlier? 
Yeah, I've got the hockey stick out. <laughs> okay, so oh, I have my notes. First exercise. Mm. Um, most people I know would pick the big compound to start with. And I think because you're at home, um, and I've always found single leg work to be one of the most beneficial um, uses for getting the whole body, or the, the stabilization of your legs, and they work a bit harder. I find you get your glutes, mm -hmm. and your, your legs working a bit harder. So we're going to start with a lunge. Okay, similar pattern of a, uh, of a squat, but we're just going to start facing forward. And we're just going to step as far as we can. When we get to the bottom, we're looking to have our hips at 90 degrees, and then we step, push back. Step forward. That would probably look better degrees. sideways, Rich. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a couple forward first. Cool. Okay, and then from here, out to the side, or step forward, step back. When you're See. doing that, is it important that your knee doesn't touch the ground or should it touch the ground? Your knee is kissing the ground. I used to tell you earlier on, you want to kiss the right. ground with your knee. If, you do, if you're on hard surface, I probably yeah. wouldn't touch it, but I'd be a millimeter yeah. away. You don't okay, want to get so up you... with busted kneecaps. No. So that's your first exercise. Hmm. Second exercise that's quite is difficult, isn't it? Yeah, it's not an easy one. Um, because yeah. there's only body weight there, you want it to be tough. You don't want it to be easy. Um, hmm. You can do that if you wanted to. You can either do that just in a normal stance here, and you get down up, it's a little bit easier. And if okay. that's really tough still, you can just go into a normal squat. Right. But, so based on uh, your no mobility, lunge. you can do the lunge without sort of yeah. taking that step forward. Yeah, it's basically if you're a beginner or, a, or a, an elite athlete. Um, second one would be an RDL. Depending if you had dumbbells, if you don't, um, we could turn this into a single leg. So if you have a weight, hold a weight. So if you, if you've got kids, gonna, put one in each arm. There you go. And then from just going to lean over, keep your back nice and straight, stick your bum back, get the stretch in the back of your hamstrings, stand up. This one's quite nice, but also build in some mobility and some flexibility yeah, yeah. in your hamstrings. I'm just looking at stand how up. straight your back is, mate. You could put a straight edge against that. I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad, is it? I don't and know the way you make such this... a straight back. <laughs> Lots of practice. Um, and the way you can make this tougher for people which don't have a weight is take one leg off the ground and we kick back and we stand up. Are you trying to get completely horizontal there? or I'm Trying to get as close, as close as I can. Right. And then stand back up. So I fall down in the back of my leg and in my glutes, and then I stand up. Okay, I don't, so you're well, strengthening I don't, your septal muscles. Yeah, and what I don't want to do is this. Which is how I, I take do. away that core. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, third, uh, the third exercise is probably the hardest, and one everybody's going to know, is a burpee. Um, and from here, we basically jump our body to the ground. You might not see this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I can do a jump burpee. Jump our body. A chest to the ground. <laughs> chest to the ground, jump back up. Okay, so here, down to the ground. It's disappeared. Jump back up. Oh, there it is. Okay. Gotcha. So, you, so it's basically you're get jumping your into a press up position. Kind of, but you're putting your chest on the ground. Okay, you're right. not pushing your arms straight. Chest to the ground, get the bend in the arms, stand back up or jump back gotcha. up. Gotcha. That's yeah, tough. Yeah. I'm not going to do too many, otherwise, I'm better to talk. A walk out. Yeah, yeah, be out of breath yeah. for the show, which we've. <laughs> So the walkout is a similar kind of exercise, but this time we're going to work on a bit more mobility. Also gets the shoulders working a lot harder as well. So from here, you're going to bend over, reach to the ground, walk your hands out as far as you can, and then walk your hands back and stand up. And okay. without wanting to ask a silly question, yeah. um, that level of flexibility, not everyone might have that level of flexibility. No. So if you so can't if you don't reach have the ground... No, bend your legs, lean over. If your hands have to go forward, go forward. Walk okay, out. Okay, just... Yeah, just bend your legs and go with it. Yeah, yeah. Fair but you want to, on the way back, you kind of want to bend or keep the legs straighter. So as you come yeah, back yeah. here, try and keep your legs as straight as you can. If you can't mm. keep them straight like mine, then just bend them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The last one. Looks like, looks like a good way to try and get a stretch on your legs as well. Yeah, it is. It's a nice way to create my beard. Yes, the reason I put it in there is to be a combination of the, of the two. Mm. Okay, the last one is called a dead bug. Basically, you're going to go into a dead bug position. So imagine like you, you see a bug <laughs> dead on the ground. Okay, and from here, you're going to extend the opposite. So you're seeing the opposite. But whilst you're doing oh. that, you're looking to brace your core and your abs into the ground. So I always right. talk about your belly button and putting your belly button into the ground underneath you. Come back up. You, is your leg touching the floor or are you holding it off the ground? I go as low as I can. If I can't keep my back in the ground, I go as low as I can with my leg to where I can. Right. So that wants to come and come off and then you're come back up. Keeping your back completely flat there, you're not arching your back to yeah. sort of take the weight of your my, leg. Yeah, I'm not lifting my back off the ground, I'm keeping my back on the floor. 
Yeah, yeah. And how, how much of that stuff should we be doing? Yeah, that's those, 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 those look like the sort of thing most people could do at home, but are yeah. we looking to do a, a thousand of them or ten? Or? So, but that's where it's going to go to next. So you can do this in a couple of different ways. Do it until you puke? Yeah. So there's a couple, couple of different intervals ways you can do this. You can either do a minute worth of exercise with a little bit of rest, um, or you can do set them exercises up. You do 10 reps of each, and you do uh -huh. that five times. Um, or you can do 10 reps of each, have a rest, do that five times. Um, or you go, okay, I'm going to do 100. A week. <laughs> at the time. You still um, five then, times in a week, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then or you, could, or you go, okay, I'm going to do um, a minute worth of lunges, then a minute worth mm. of body L's, a minute worth of burpees, a minute worth of walkouts, a minute worth of dead bugs, have a minute rest. So there's, there's so many different ways where you can kind of make oh. them um, challenging. But mm. there's five exercises which you could do in tons of different ways to increase yeah. the heart rate. Do that for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and you've had a really good workout. And then, then you're following the, the government guidelines. Mm. I'll tell you, mate, if I did 20 minutes of that, you really would find a dead bug on the floor. It'd be me. <laughs> yeah. That's how you would finish yeah, your exercise and then dead bugs. Yeah, yeah. That would be the, the exercise to finish it all. Um, yeah. But um, awesome. So th those look quite straightforward, actually. Uh, and that was, yeah, that was five, to, five to do at home, right? Yeah, five to do at home. Um, there are actual exercises where you can actually get mm. uh, your heart rate up. Um, I've got five which to do whilst we're sitting here in front of a desk. So mm -hmm. let's move this all around again. So in an office um, environment, obviously you probably wouldn't have that much space to do those sort of exercises. No, obviously. and also, yeah, you might be also you might be wearing a, a, a suit, a shirt. So these are going to be a little bit more appropriate for. You'd probably create a health and safety hazard as well doing that on the floor. Exactly. Um, so I'm going to sit to the side. Imagine I'm at a desk. Okay, and let me from turn here, this thing off here. Uh huh. So from here, I'm going to sit up nice and tall, and I'll talk about kind of um, a plumb line or this uh, string, hmm. the string from the top of my head, and pulling myself up. So what I want to uh -huh. do from there, keep my back nice and straight, put one hand to the outside of the opposite leg. Right. Okay. The other hand on top. And all we're going to do is keep one arm straight and pull that arm around to twist the shoulder. And we turn as far uh -huh. as we can. And then come back around. Get your twist on. Okay. Get the twist on. This this uh, this hand keeps this leg in place so we don't twist our, our lower body. This keeps our, mm. uh, our leg still. And this allows our upper body to twist. So I've seen a few people do something similar to that and when they do it you can hear this crunching sound. Yeah, I just had one. <laughs> get a nice good crack in the back. So that's your first that one. A kick out any spine breaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those kick actually we're talking about here on. <laughs> You were in food. The last time it was Mars bars, wasn't it? It's always chocolate, you notice. <laughs> so okay, the second one to start with. Second one is a seated cat, cat and cow. Okay, uh, right. and this is kind of creating movements through the the spine. Okay, we want to keep a nice mobile spine. And all we want to do is put your hands on your on your knees. Okay, mm -hmm. and from here we're going to round the spine off. Try to round it as much as we can, put our stomach in, and then we're going to go do the complete opposite. Try and put our chest through our arms. Back. Pull our shoulders back. Yeah, I can hear that as well. <laughs> and that's just back, shoulders back in that position, and then back, round, stomach off, back off, stretch. Back to your normal desk position. Yeah, <laughs> you should get a nice good stretch, and then back through. Mm. Five of those. Nice so you're basically stretch. moving the spine to all of its extremities as possible. Yeah, you're just trying to build some mobility there, just so we kind of because we're obviously we're in this position for so long, if we can kind of yeah. do the opposite. It helps re-engage some of those muscles. Yeah, get it all moving around again. Yeah. Next one's super simple. I can do this facing forward. Um, we're going to do some leg stretches to keep the back nice and straight. Think about that, that string line, putting our head up as tall as we can, putting our shoulders mm -hmm. up and, and down. Okay, from here, we're going to use uh, four quadrants uh, and we're going to stretch our head into forward, mm -hmm. side, side, and back. When we've done those, I want you to make a nice big circle. Hmm. So this, can look, this looks like it can take a lot of tension out of your neck. Yeah, this is the idea just to stretch, to, to stretch some of those muscles yeah. which cause those kind of headaches and stress headaches you're going to get. I find, I find myself doing that quite a lot, actually. Yeah. There's a few different ones you can do, but they're just yeah. quite nice. Just to, I do it a few times throughout the day 
I'm feeling a bit tense, a bit tight in my shoulders. Yeah, I do. Sometimes I grab the grab the opposite arm of the chair, and just yeah. to help you yeah. just or get even, your neck a little twist on. Yeah, or even just grab underneath the chair and then pull yourself away. Ah, that's a nice one. It just pulls the shoulder down, and creates the mm. stretch from the other side as well. Yeah, that's when you can really feel how how tight your muscles and your neck are. Yeah, where they're tense um, all day long. Yeah, because you're just because you're holding yourself in a position where you don't you shouldn't be. It's not relaxed. Mm. Um, next one is a hip one. This one's quite tough, and this depends on uh, kind of what you're wearing, where you are. Um, this is called a, a couch stretch, um, but I'm going to show you a couple of, couple of uh, ways I of doing like it. To know imagine, this one. This one's <laughs> lovely. So imagine I'm, I've actually got a chair. Um, mm -hmm. and actually, let's, use, let's use my sofa over here. And actually, because it's a couch, it works perfectly. I've got myself cool. a couch. Okay. I've bought a and all couch I'm going especially to, do, to show you this, guys. Just show you this stretch. <laughs> What I'm going to do is push one knee into the back of that chair. Okay, and you can do this oh, with an God. office chair. You can do this with an office chair, but you push a knee in, and as you get into that position, you're going to pull your abs in, like you were doing in your dead bug. Mm. Push your hips forward and squeeze your bum. Okay, this yeah. is your easy version. Okay, this is you just holding that there. The further you can get your bum away from your hip, from your heel, the better. Um, if you're struggling to do that, just kind of relax. Maybe go a bit closer to your heel. Okay, are, are you you're wanting old... your backside and your heel to come together? No, you, you're trying to do the opposite. Oh, okay. Are you okay, trying to push stretches, them apart? That stretches through here, yeah. So I push them apart. You're going to stretch through here ah, rather than through okay. here. So you're going you to get higher up. shape and then you're, yeah. you're manually trying to force them apart. You separate them. But don't just ah. separate it by pushing your stomach out. You've got to pull your stomach in as well and then push forward. That's your easy version. From here, we're going to reach up to the sky and really pull the hands up. Keep doing the same thing with the hips. Good if you God. can do that really well, grab the opposite hand and then pull the hand over the top. And then you get a nice good stretch all the way through the, mm. the side and the hips. Bloody hell. That's, that's, quite, really the, nice um, stretch. that's quite the exercise. Yeah. yeah. You, you the might not one, want to try that if, you've got, if your office chair is on wheels. Try not to do that. <laughs> your chair will just disappear behind you. <laughs> yeah, that's probably one of the issues <laughs> with that one. The way you can change, the way you could manufacturer I want to be a bit better is maybe grab an ankle, but just put your knee on something and then you can mm. hold yourself there rather yeah. than having to, to push yourself against something. But then that doesn't you can, give you the um, the balance to get your other leg in front of you though, does it? No, but you can have your front leg in front already and then you yeah. can go against that position. Yeah. I already know that I can't do what you're doing right now. Yeah. Mine doesn't no, that's a nope. <laughs> <laughs> But then you could do it, if, you, if you're struggling to do it like that, then you can go on to, um, onto a knee. So you could do the same thing, but rather than going onto a couch and lifting that back leg up, you go mm. here. Happy or, days. For the camera, there. And yeah, all you're yeah. doing is pushing your hips through. You can see how yeah. I'm not letting my hips fall backwards. Yeah, yeah. I'm pulling my hips forward. Avoiding slouching while you're doing it. Yeah, nice little chest. Yeah. And this pulls the hips forward. That's what you're trying to stretch is this bit, because we sit all day and we're in the opposite position. Yeah. Happy days. The last That's one. a little bit similar one more. to what you were showing us a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? When you when you had your leg folded against the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's the same stretch. Okay. The last one is just one to build that core strength. And all I want you to do. I can, I can vouch for that too. I showed my wife that, and she went, "Oh yeah, I've been doing that." She said, "That, that really, really helps." Oh no, it's good. Yeah. I helped one person. That's all that matters, right? Exactly. I showed it to her, and she did it the day we the day we went out for that really speedy walk. Oh yeah. Um, she did it before we went out. She was doing it for about 10, 15 minutes. And oh, she said that was probably only, the only reason she was able to keep up without any pain. Yeah, uh, good. So happy days. There you go. Uh, my, my invoice will be coming in the, into the, the, the door anytime now. <laughs> happy days. <laughs> um, so was that four? Did you get as far as four? That's four, yeah. This is the last one. Um, this is just right. a really simple one to engage your core um, and try to improve some of that core strength. And what I want mm. you to do is push your, belly, your fingers into your belly. Okay, and then you're going to try and push your fingers out using your core. You see that? Huh. Yeah, yeah. It's really simple. I would do it now. Push yourself like, in the stomach. Yeah, push yourself in the stomach and then push your abs. Push your fingers out. Yeah, so you're trying to brace. You're yeah, you're trying to stop brace. yourself from poking yourself in the belly. Yeah, just trying to brace your core. Um, yeah. And that just teaches you to, to brace your stomach and help keep your abs in a, in a better position. It's a super yeah, simple so one. I, it's not very hard, but yeah. it's a nice way of learning how to do that. Well, it engages your muscles, doesn't it? Yeah. What, what, what do you do, though, if, like me, you push your finger into your belly and your hand disappears? Um, <laughs> chop your hand off. 
<laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably need to get out and do a bit more move, walking around, eh? Yeah, yeah. Um, more, more, more energy expenditure. Yeah, less, less chocolate in and more calories out. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's fantastic. I think, I think that's, um, that's, an, that's an awesome array of um, fairly straightforward, not complicated stuff um, that you can actually do at home without it. Oh, sod's law, that was going to happen, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go, get rid of that. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good array of stuff that actually is pretty worth, it's pretty easy to do yeah. um, and isn't really that mentally challenging. No, uh, uh, and I'm, expecting, worse than... I'm expecting some videos of you doing these ones, Rich. <laughs> Gotta be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my neighbour will film it when the ambulance turns up. <laughs> That's about probably about all you're going to get. You'll you'll see a video on YouTube of some geezer being carted away in an ambulance um, on two gurneys at once. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's a fantastic array of, of fairly straightforward, non-taxing stuff that you've showed us. Um, that anyone, um, and and this is the point of the show is to try and break it down into something that the average Joe can understand and implement for themselves with a bit of guidance from an expert. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And at the same time, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for Richard to say, hey, look, you know what? Let me show you all the ways that I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and there is. And, and I suppose one of the things, good things about personal trainers and people which do this in as a profession is it's not only that we have the expertise to teach you different ways to, to, to be healthy, and sometimes, mm. most of the time, it's actually making things simpler because um, mm. they're more effective. The reason they were there in the first place is because they're effective. Um, yeah. but, it's, but it's making somebody accountable. It's giving you some motivation and it's making you do something week in, week out and being pushed to be better that week in, week out. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the good thing about it. It's, 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 a good PT will make things simple, accountable and varied so you don't get bored. Yeah. And the last one I'm going to add to that is enjoyable. Well, yeah. Well, you'd hope it would be enjoyable if they make it varied and simple, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, a good not calling them all the horrible names under the sun by that point. <laughs> so a lot of PTs are, are obviously used to being sworn at a lot. Um, yeah, we being are. called horrible names for all the suffering yeah. that they um, impale on people. Yeah. <laughs> we are definitely so, sworn Very thick-skinned are most PTs. Are, 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 <laughs> um, so before we, before we say goodbye to everyone, Rich, because I'm sure they're all itching to get out and do some exercise now and, and go and try and injure themselves on their furniture doing all those things. Um, is there any um, tips or any advice you'd want to give to people to, as a sort of a, a parting comment? Any parting comments? Or, or any uh, top I suppose, tips or... I suppose um, parting comment is a, it's kind of a fact. Um, 5%, I... 5 of the, the population in the UK do the recommended or do 30, 30 minutes of exercise a day. I mean, one in three people do the recommended 30 minutes per day. So mm. if we can increase that number, we're going to help improve people's uh, physical health. Mm. So that can, and as I said earlier on, physical activity can be anything to get your heart rate up. So whether you want to use a personal trainer and get some guidance and get some help, or whether you just want to get out and do something, doing something is going to help and be better than nothing. Yeah. And I account for the other two out of those three people. <laughs> I'm I'm two people, so. <laughs> so my wife does the exercise, and I'm the other two. <laughs> uh, I told you to save the best jokes for last. I know that was a good one. I, did enjoy that. <laughs> I know, right? As I said, there's a reason this camera is at that angle. <laughs> uh, um, no, I I think that I think people have had more than their fair share of, of uh, top tips and, and guidance from you. Thank you. Um, so you don't want to give away the shop. Um, I would put yourself out of a job. But exactly. um, yeah, I think mean, you know we ask for five and we get ten. That's, that's got to be worth. That's got to be worth a like and a subscribe and a, and a thank you very much from yeah. anyone who watches this over the next over the next however many years that yeah. this lives on YouTube for. Yeah, uh, come and check out the, the website. Employee so where, can, where can people get in touch to um, swear at you and say horrible things and, and and say thanks for all the advice and help that you've given them, Rich? So uh, you can find me on all social medias under uh, Employees Health. Uh, employees Health. 
So employee health, uh, the corporate company where the website is and all my information is. You can also mm -hmm. find me either at Richard Turner on LinkedIn and Facebook cool. or uh, Dickie underscores uh, on Instagram. Yeah, Dickie's underscore, not, not Dickie's underscore torture, right? <laughs> no, no, that's my other one. <laughs> that's his weekend hobby. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so it's employeeshealth.co.uk, employeeshealth is that right? Yes, yeah. yeah. And you've just had a new website built, haven't you? Yeah. Quite nice looking. It looks nice. Thank you. Um, so kudos to the person who built that. Um, job well done there. And uh, yeah, so if you want to get in touch with Richard, and, and you know, if you're in the Essex area, um, or Essex. anywhere where you can get to Essex from wherever Essex. the hell you are. Um, and you, uh, Who? Kent. Kent, sorry. <laughs> hey, you said Essex a minute ago. Yeah, I said nice. Essex, where Joe Wicks lives. <laughs> he doesn't live Oh, there. right, yeah. <laughs> I really should listen better, shouldn't I? Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you're in the Kent area and you fancy having a personal trainer like Richard or having Richard as your personal trainer, I mean, who wouldn't? The guy's got a good sense of humor. He's very thick-skinned and he's very patient. And he, from what I've known and come to know of him in the last month, um, yeah. he, he's he's very giving. Um, he, he's patient and he's funny. And quite frankly, you, you'd be silly not to work with him. Um, so, you know, he can push you, but he can probably make, make you wait yourself laughing while he's doing it. <laughs> That's like a form course. of exercise right there too, right? <laughs> core, core, core training. Yeah, I'm ever so sorry, Mr. Smith, but you appear to have pissed yourself. <laughs> Never mind, you burnt, you burnt a lot of calories doing it, so that's fine. <laughs> Apologies to the small children who are listening who've heard that. Uh, we, have, we have a comment as well, actually. I didn't even see this. I oh, know the comment was from me. That's, <laughs> that's why I didn't see it. All the comments are from me. <clears throat> I know, right? It's, it's just me and you writing the comments. I know. Um, so I cannot thank you enough for coming on um, a second time, Richard. It's been absolutely fantastic having you on. My pleasure. Um, I I can only wish that we see you again sometime in the future. Yes. And it'd be wonderful to know how the new website's going and, and how things are going in the corporate exercise world. And, um, yeah, having a catch-up with all, all guests in the future would be awesome. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know I'm wonderful... else. Yeah, and hopefully you'll have some wonderful tales to tell us about all the people that you've bent, stretched, twisted and tortured in, in as many ways as you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we That'd do. be fantastic. <laughs> So, you know, if you want to get in shape and you want to have fun doing it, get in touch with Richard. He's the guy. Him, not me. Um, I'll, I'll show you how to eat all the chocolate in the supermarket um, and end up in A&E. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully uh, <laughs> no, no, we don't end up in A&E. Um, no. So that's pretty much how you get hold of him. Hopefully, all being well, uh, he'll write, do a little write-up and we'll put that up on the show website as well so you can have a little read and find out a bit more about uh, how, what he does and where to reach him on all of his social media channels and, and all the fun stuff he's posting online. Uh, so I shall bid everyone a good evening for now. And thank you so much to Richard for coming on again. And we will see you next week, 7 o'clock, when we have a sleep and gut um, expert. That's all I can say. What, what she does is, yeah, I've yet to understand it completely. But it's 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 a form of um, she was a sports coach as well, um, but she does her speciality is the sleep and gut thing, you know. Okay, cool. um, and if she's watching this now, she'll probably kill me for getting it completely wrong. No. <laughs> she'll probably yeah. yeah, she'll probably phone in a half an hour. And go, that's not what I do. Thank <laughs> um, you, different. Yeah, but next week we have a what I believe is a sleep and gut expert to talk right. about um, the relationship between what you eat and how you sleep. Um, you know what we were saying a couple of weeks ago about crap in, crap out, right? Yeah. Um, so it was pretty much that's what she does. Um, yeah. Which is not crap in, crap out. I mean, she does the good stuff. <laughs> I'm going to get murdered. <laughs> yeah, you uh, uh, are. Yeah. That's okay. You can just stream the funeral live on YouTube. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so until next week, folks, uh, stay safe, have a good time and enjoy the sunshine and get out in your gardens and balconies and, and open the windows in the living room. Give Richard's exercises a try. And if you're struggling with them, give him a call. And uh, we'll see you at the same time next week. So say goodnight, Rich. See ya. No, you meant to say goodnight, Rich. Oh, goodnight, Rich. Goodnight, Rich. There you go. <laughs> goodnight, Rich. And we'll see you all next week, guys. Goodnight, folks. Have a good one. 
Bye. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never pass.